female strictly dancer is at the center of bullying accusations from a former partner, who alleges she would fly into rages and scream in his face. The well-known contestant is expected to reveal they had daily disputes and she would lose her temper off-camera if he struggled with dance routines, reports The Mirror. He plans to send his complaint to the legal firm Carter Rock by tomorrow, July 21, although it reportedly contains no claims of physical abuse. However, it does accuse senior BBC personnel of neglecting to offer him support during or after his time on the show. The BBC finds itself in a tough spot as it tries to protect the integrity of its beloved programme. An insider revealed, the man in question felt very much victimised by the behaviour of his strictly partner. He alleges that on several occasions she flew into a real fury when he couldn't get the steps right, and on one occasion screamed full in his face. They rode every single day. He was left upset, struggling to sleep, and feeling isolated in the process. But even worse, he felt totally unsupported by Strictly. When he suffered the setback, it was clear he was struggling, but he felt there was no duty of care. After leaving the show, he was not contacted again, even by phone. According to the source, the man was deeply affected and apprehensive about the potential public reaction if he came forward. They added, the show had a serious impact on his life, and affected his ability to work long after he left the dance floor. The source remarked on the dance duo's dynamics, it wasn't all bad, they did get on some of the time. It's just there were some difficult moments. Carter Rock is currently dealing with claims of misconduct from several former contestants. Among them is Amanda Abington, aged 50, who alleges she developed PTSD after her stint dancing with professional Giovanni Pernice. She recounted being bruised following sessions where the 33-year-old pro dancer reportedly stamped on her foot. Solicitors are probing serious allegations of misconduct against Giovanni, who left the show in May and has refuted any accusations of impropriety. In a recent development, Graziano de Prima was dismissed following the emergence of a video showing him kicking his dance partner Zara McDermott. He has expressed regret over this mistake. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. Furthermore, it has come to light dancer turned judge Anton Dubeka is now embroiled in a controversy, following a complaint by his former dance partner Leila Ruas about his choice of words back in 2009 for which he has since issued an apology. BBC executives are reportedly bracing for a potential £1 million personal injury claim as former contestants allege both physical and psychological damage, alongside loss of earnings. The BBC has initiated an internal investigation and hired two former Metropolitan Police detectives to interview staff members. Additionally, training rooms will now be monitored by a chaperone at all times.
a representative for the BBC stated, We will always listen if people want to make us aware of something or raise it with us. The BBC and BBC Studios take duty of care extremely seriously. Show Judge Craig Revel Horwood, expressed his surprise over the allegations on Strictly saying, I'm just finding out, like everybody else, through the press. However, the 59-year-old maintained his unwavering belief in the TV show, stating it's a program that belongs in the people's hearts, and Terry's nothing more gratifying than witnessing someone work hard and move up.